Hey everybody, this is Phil Kerner. I think most of you guys probably know me as the Tool and Die Guy. And I've got a major announcement for you today. I hope you had a great week. It's Friday night here in Erie, Pennsylvania. And uh, what I want to talk to you about is telling the story of American manufacturing. You know, for the last, I think, six years now, hard to believe, um, I've recorded a ton of videos, and they're mostly tutorials on getting rid of the knowledge I had in my head to make sure generations to follow would at least know what I knew. But the reality is, it's been all about me, and because that's my knowledge. But the next step in the uh, journey is going to be hearing from you guys. And as you know, if you followed me at all, I've worked really hard on trying to figure out a way to connect with you. And I've tried a lot of stuff. and. Uh, you know, I just end up doing it myself. And uh, I was able to put together an amazing, amazing project, an amazing website, which is top secret for now, but where I'm gonna share the stories of Made in America. So if you're a tool and die maker or a machinist, uh, somebody who loves the trade, perhaps you owned your own shop, perhaps you're getting older and would love to tell your story. Maybe you worked for GE or Boeing or some great company. I can make it really easy for you to share your story in manufacturing with the world. So what I wanna do is encourage you to send me an email. And my email is very simple, and I'll post it here several times, but it's Phil Kerner, all one word, P-H-I-L-K-E-R-N-E-R -E -E at gmail.com. Doesn't get any easier than that. I can take your story via an article. If you like to write, write an article. I'll take it. Please spell check it. Uh, number two, I can phone interview you. Uh, that's not a problem. No sweat, and I, we can, of course, with phone interviews, I can edit that. If there's a mistake, not a problem. And number three, um, I can do a video conference call with you, and all you need is a webcam. The interview would last, whether it's on the phone or on video, you know, five to minutes to an hour, depending on your story. I'll, I'm a good interviewer, and uh, it's time we started sharing with everybody else uh, this, in the country that uh, doesn't get what manufacturing did for us. And this isn't a sob story. I believe we're still gonna get out of this. But I wanna hear from you guys. I wanna put your stories out there. This is completely free. There's not a problem with fees or anything. I'll record your story and put it on this brand new site that's just about done. And it's a beautiful site. Lots of video, lots of photography. Totally different from the toolanddieguy.com. So, if you're a craftsman, and if you're a guy who loves the trade, and you want to talk about your experience, I want to hear it. I want the world to hear it. So please email me, philkerner at gmail.com, on what you'd like to do. You'd like to do, write an article? Great. If you'd like, and you can send pictures of that too. And if you're going to write an article, I'd like a picture of you, so at least everybody knows who you are and a little, maybe a small bio. I'm Joe Smith and I worked at GE in Schenectady, New York in the 50s. That's fine, that's all I need to know. Not a lot of personal stuff, but context. Phone interview, just let me know, I'll set it up. Uh, and finally, the video conference call. All you need is a webcam. So we need to tell your story. I've told mine now for the last several years and I think it's time for the world to see what a great group of craftsmen we still have here in the United States and I'm trying to tell the stories of Made in America, and uh, I hope you'll join me. So please, email me, contact me, and we'll put it together, and uh, once I get several put together, I'll let you in on the secret on the, uh, the project I'm working on. The, le the website's already up, but you won't find it because uh, it's uh, kind of private right now. So you're gonna love it, and it's a great way to showcase the trade we love so much. So hope to hear from you soon. I hope to help, that you'll help me tell the story of Made in America.